Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sab if you're new here. Today we are continuing our legacy challenge. I'm actually filming this very, very close to when I filmed the last part. So um, I'm not gonna be able to read most of your guys' like comments and opinions for how we're moving forward, but I had some time today and I really wanted to film again. Yeah, I'm excited. We're gonna be aging up Sarah today. Super stoked to see your child form. I also gave everyone in the house some new outfits. Uh, I changed Evangeline's hair, I changed Ren's hair, I'll show you guys everything that I did. It's Saturday, I'm having a very chill day today, I'm sipping on my Joy Burst. This is the strawberry lemonade flavor. I've actually taken a break from having Celsius's because I had something happen where I fainted and it was really scary and um, that's never happened to me before. So I was kind of like suspecting it had to do with the caffeine intake. Um, so I haven't had a Celsius in, I want to say like a little over a month now, maybe a month. I'm not really sure, but yeah, I've been going to the doctor. I've been going to like all like specialists, heart specialists. I have a brain specialist appointment on Monday. Um, I got a checkup. I got my blood tested and, uh, my doctor is suspecting it's a, it was a seizure, which is really weird because I've never had a seizure before and there's no like history of seizures in my family. Yeah. That's why I have the appointment with the neurologist to like test that out with my heart specialist. I had to wear a Holter monitor for 48 hours. It was really inconvenient. It was like during when my family was visiting and we were doing all kinds of stuff and I like couldn't shower. <laughs> and I'm the type of person that showers like twice a day. These I have been drinking on the daily to replace my Celsius's. They're like an electrolyte drink. Um, it's just basically water. It has um, like vitamins and minerals and lion's mane in it for, um, to like, for like focus and to stimulate brain functionality I guess <laughs> but I really like the way that I feel when I drink them so I've got strawberry lemonade today they're so bomb as well it's like a liquid IV but 10 times better I'm gonna start and cast today let's just get into it shall we let's start with Edison so I gave him a style that I feel like reflects his traits a little um, you saw in the last episode we did cut his hair it's back to brown um, so I kind of gave him like this nerdy dad core almost like I don't want to say Bill Gates <laughs> but like you know the you know the vibes like dad shoes um, a t-shirt a hat like kind of that kind of vibe um I think it suits him well um I'll just flick through his outfits really fast Ooh. here um yeah so that's what we've got for Edison um I think he looks adorable I love that he's embracing his true self now. And then with Teddy, I did want to do more of a proper style. So she wears a lot of like nice clothes. Like this is her uh, everyday wear. She also has another everyday wear. I think she looks really good in dark blue. And this outfit is so cute and I love her hair. I hope that you guys end up liking it too. Here's her formal, mm. active, sleep, party. This is beautiful. Swim, hot weather, and cold weather. All right, and then with Evangeline, I ended up giving her a different style of afro. Um, this one is like more coily, while the other one was more like brushed out. I just imagine this is what her hair looks like when she doesn't brush it. So here are her fits. I, uh, I only changed one of her everyday outfits. I'll just go through these again. I didn't really change that much with her. I just kind of changed her hair and one outfit. But yeah, that's our girl there. And then with Ren, I ended up giving her a new hair. I love this hair color on her. This has been her hair color since like day one and it just doesn't feel right with any other hair color. At least that's how I'm feeling right now. And also like, I really wanna change her traits. I don't know. Mm -hmm. She's had these traits forever and I just don't feel like they resonate with her really. She has a bunch of bonus traits as well. <laughs> and, uh, for some reason I can't see them, but yeah, I kinda wanna change her main traits. Mm, these are her everyday fits. Changed her formal. Um, oh yeah, this is her party wear now. <laughs> this actually isn't CC, which surprises me. Her hot weather and her cold weather. This is really cute. Uh, so yeah, those are all the changes that I made in cast. So I've been thinking about what I want to do with Edison, right? And I was thinking like with his traits, it would be so cool to open a bar, like own a bar and run it, you know? He's got all this money 
and like he doesn't really need a job per se but he needs something to fill his time so i think that owning a video game bar or even a nightclub because he's an insider now like any kind of thing like that would be so dope but i don't think you can own a nightclub I think you can only do like a rental lot, a retail lot, a restaurant, and like a vet clinic, I think. I think there, there may be a workaround with the restaurant. I think there may be a workaround with the restaurant. Like we can make it a restaurant, but also have, um, make it like more like a snack bar-y restaurant, but also have video game stuff in there and a bar in there. So yeah, re rental, vet clinic, restaurant, and retail. So, oh my god, look at all this hair. Teddy's off to work, it's her first day of work. Let's we'll see how that goes. And I think it's about, it's about that time to move out Evangeline. Not technically move her out, but like make her house a rental and um, build up that relationship with the Sim that won the Bachelorette Challenge with her. Abenor Yikla? Oh, what are you doing in here? Oh, have Faza? Tell funny what? story. Well, aren't you guys cute? Also, let's check out Sarah's skills. Um, she's max communication. Her movement's getting up there. She's not potty trained. That is something that we should probably do, to be honest. Uh, Ren, do you feel like potty training her? Because you guys are chatting away anyways. Oh my god, this girl. She's feeling playful. We should probably have her practice her comedy right now. Tell jokes. Dancing in her room, honestly, that's such a mood. All right, yeah, she's getting a little boost from being playful. That's good. What is happening here? Gosh darn it. So annoying. Like, oh my gosh, she's actually sleepy. Okay, well, screw the potty training then. Let's just put her to bed. Everyone has work. Hmm. Who's gonna watch Sarah while everyone's gone? Uh, our crystal trees still have not grown. It takes forever. I hope she gets happy, toddler. My infants and toddlers. Oh, she was a happy infant. Right, right, right. Because she grew up at home with, uh, with, with Teddy. Okay. Well, I don't think happy toddler or unhappy toddler is a thing. I think it's just with infant. I'm not really sure, but if she does, I hope she gets happy. I think she's pretty well taken care of. But, oh, he's off to work today. He's probably gonna get promoted, guys. And. Uh, I don't really want him to. I want him to do a different job, but if he ends up getting promoted, he will be level four, which I don't know. It's not that high. I feel like it wouldn't be a total loss if we uh, ended up quitting. Oh my god, Teddy got promoted! Yeah, baby! Promoted to story researcher. Okay, that's pretty dope. Um, I hate this outfit so much. <laughs> Man, the career outfits are just so bad, guys. So she needs to write a column for her work. So let's get her to do that. What? Just letting you know that we moved out of our place. Give me a call when you want to hang out. I don't want to hang out with you. I hate you, bro. That's the guy that was flirting with Teddy right in front of us. Uh-uh. Ooh. Ren witnessed something that could implicate a former colleague in a corrupt scandal. This colleague has since been appointed to a prominent judgeship. Granting them the power to change the lives, for better or worse, of each person who stands before them. What? We take such good care of that dog. Why are you running away? Anyway, should Ren come forward with evidence that will surely damage her colleague's career or ignore what she saw? I think Ren would reveal fame and money. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely. Mo definitely, definitely, definitely. Ren's former colleague is disgraced and loses their judgeship, while Ren's splashy accusation gets her a bunch of media attention. Since coming forward, though, other colleagues have distanced themselves from Ren. Even her employer won't trust oh, her with anything critical or Paulino. sensitive. And after a uh. negative performance review, Ren is demoted. What? It didn't say anything about getting demoted. It didn't say anything about that. Whatever. I don't care. Also, this garden, gosh. So trash. Goodbye, Rocky. We'll see you in a couple days, probably. Press alert about missing pet. Let's go ahead and do that. Wolfgang. All right, so I'm checking out restaurants that have the name Teddy's Pizza and Arcade. If that's not a sign, I don't know what is. Pizza Place and Arcade. 
there's this first one. This is a cinema and arcade. But they're all technically restaurants, which is cool. It has a bowling alley. It's got arcade machines. Um, what's this one? Getty Pizzeria and Arcade. I don't really want to build my own because that's like, that's a lot. That's a big build to do. Sure, honestly. Snagging one from the gallery, I wouldn't mind. I'm looking for one that's like <clears throat> Edison's vibe. You know what I mean? This is such a beautiful lot though. Like, it looks really cool. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna place it and then we're gonna have a look and see what it looks like um, on the lot. I don't think we've ever owned a lot in this legacy challenge before. I rarely do it. I think I've done it once in my eco lifestyle let's play. And that's the only time I've ever done it. Where should we put it? Oh, by the way, this lot is by um, Must Beshi. Ooh, I think that the old salt house tray or the old salt house lot might be dope. It's like downtown semi Shino vibes. Okay, this is really cool. Oh my god, there's even like a crashed spaceship out front. Oh, it actually fits quite nicely here too. Hmm. I think, yeah, there's this upstairs area with bars, bowling, arcades, gaming pads. Um, I think though, I'm going to delete the celebrity titles. I'll keep them over here in the cinema area. So yeah, there's all these tables you can sit at. I love all the decor on the walls. I think that's really cool. These though, they don't really fit in my opinion. Um, yeah, this is dope. It's $288,475. All right, what are the lot traits? Convivial, chef's kitchen, and a bouncer. Oh my God. That would actually be funny. I've never used that before. Add a bouncer to this lot. All right, we can try that. See how it goes. I do think that this is a good fit for him. You guys are gonna have to let me know. I'm gonna buy it anyways, but we can always just sell it again if it doesn't work out. But with his trades, I think it's a good fit. Maybe like after having those club gatherings with his friends um, and like going to all these video game bars and bowling and arcades and stuff, maybe he just felt like he wanted to own one himself. And like, what else do you do when you have millions of dollars? <laughs> you invest it in real estate and things like that. And I actually think you do get legacy points if you do own a business. I'm gonna have to look at that. Let's go over the point system for this challenge really quick so that we can kind of remember what we need to do for the rest of the challenge. Because I am, since the beginning, have been trying to get as many points as possible. So, one point per gen, a point is gained when the current heir reaches young adulthood. The challenge ends the moment the 10th generation child is born. The 10th point is obtained by having adopting 10 children in a single generation, which we did do. Um, founder, heir, and their primary spouse must be moralized per generation. Um, let's see. 10th point is earned by having a single sim complete two out of the three creative aspirations in their lifetime. Oof. We're definitely gonna have to do that with Ren. <laughs> um, let's see. So with this one, we have surpassed $5 million. So we're getting the maximum points for fortune with love. For every three unique traits that the primary spouse brings into the family, you gain one point for a total of nine points by the end of the challenge. Okay, unique traits. Okay. Yep, that makes sense. So you don't want to marry someone who has the same traits as the current heir because you need to bring unique traits into it every generation. Knowledge, uh, your gain, you gain points according to the number of skills that reach max level. 27 skills reaching max level equals nine points. I want to say that we've done that already. The 10th point is earned by having every skill reach max level at some point during the challenge. Okay, yeah, we're currently working on that. Athletic, uh, oh my god, yeah. The aspirations is the area that we're not gonna be getting that many points. Childhood aspirations count. 
Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to like calculate what we've got so far. And then here, the collections area. Have somebody die on the family lot in one of the each different ways to die? What? You get one point for that? I guess we're gonna have to start killing some Sims. <laughs> have a Sim within the household reach the top level of each career? Of each career track? Every career, this has to be just base game. I think that there's definitely more than 100 points, um, like not, like after base game. Yeah, it's gotta be, it's gotta be. So I'm just gonna like view this as base game. Food points, we've done all of that. Have a sim complete both food aspirations in a single generation. Have a sim get fat from your family's cooking. Have at least six sims all sitting at the table eating at the same time. I think we've done that before. Uh, have a sim make their date a max quality meal. Oh. Okay. Popularity. This is like hosting events and getting a medal. We've got a ton of bronze medal. We just got a like little notification in the sims for that last, last uh, episode. We've got our 20 potions of youth already. There's a ton of um, expansion pack points as well. Okay, I think we're doing pretty good. Honestly, the only thing that stresses me out is the aspirations and the collections. With everything else, we can like, I think we can get done in one generation to be honest, if we really, really, really try, like super hard. <laughs> uh, okay, so. Once Edison gets back from work, I think I'm going to have him quit. And I think I'm going to, uh, I'm going to get him to buy, buy the bar. That's super exciting though. Oh, Sarah's awake. Good morning. How are you doing? What do you need? Uh, you're hungry. Oh yeah. You guys suggested that I get the lunchbox from the base game update, which yeah, I definitely want to because, oh Lord. That's never a good sign. Yeah, I was using it in my career legacy challenge and it's such a freaking game changer. I want to say that they crafted this item for a hundred baby. Like I have no doubt in my mind. So, all right, there we go. Okay. So basically toddlers can grab food from this all on their own and a drink. That's so freaking clutch guys. It is so clutch. Ooh, a reality TV show is looking for new ideas, riding a wave of interest in green issues and civic responsibility. Edison is approached to star in an episode. Go on TV, he will gain fame, lose career progress, and simoleons. Why will we lose simoleons? Edison quietly continues in their mission to enrich the environment through urban planning and green technology. Yeah, I'm gonna decline. I'm good on that. Culinary career. Ray. Sorry, and we're currently working on the- ooh! What? Ren has an alien in her inventory? Live blue slug. What's this one? Live space porcupine. Dead red coral. Okay, yeah, we need to add this to the- Ugh, I don't know why my game doesn't let me like drag and drop things anymore. It's so annoying. Just put it on the floor, please. I'm begging you, just put it on the floor. Thank you. Alright, he's back. Looks like Edison's company underestimated the power of creative accounting, so the threat of layoffs has receded into the background. His job is safe. Um, Ugh, Dark Cynic. I I don't want my job to be safe though. I, I want, I'm trying to get quit. I'm trying to quit. I'm trying to get fired. I'm trying to get laid off. Well, you know, why don't you clone this? Are you good, girl? Why are you always staring at yourself in the mirror? Contemplating life. Drink it. You need it. Perfect. Okay. Buy a restaurant. Let's go. I'm super excited. We're gonna be hanging out there all the time. <laughs> Purchase. The compost man is planning to open a new business. Yes, yeah, furnished. All right. So, you bought a restaurant, now what? Owning a restaurant is hard work. Approximately 59.5% of new restaurants fail within the first year. However, with proper management, skilled employees, a delicious menu, and a little plasma, sweat and tears, your restaurant just might succeed. All right. 
Well, uh, we can definitely transfer more money. That's $100,000. Confirm. Ah. <laughs> okay. I don't know what that did for our aspiration, but oh, oh. let's see. Go to lessons. Um, let's see. Running a business is no, no small task. You can hire employees to offload some work. Manage employees on your store's register. Okay, so everything is probably in the oh, register boy. area. Um, let's see. We have one star right now. Um, what is this? View latest finances, manage employees. Okay, select a symbol to hire. No way we can hire our father-in-law. They're not technically married, but I don't know what else to call him. I think we should hire Ava. Chef's available for hire. Mm, yeah, let's do Ava. And then a host. Um, this is charisma and comedy. Hmm. I think we want Sabrina and then a waiter. Why is Freddy in like every single one of these? This fitness and charisma, fitness and charisma for, okay, sure. Everyone kind of sucks to be on it. Let's do Miwa. Okay, it looks like we have to unlock these with our business perks, which is fine. Uh, what's this? Restaurant settings. Price markup. Advertising. Let's do the diamond package. Duh, we can afford it. Maybe a bowling shirt? Is any of the custom content available? It is! Oh my god, fun. Oh god, I didn't even think this far ahead of what we should do for freaking outfits. Oh my god, wait, this is actually really cute. This reminds me of a bowling shirt. Okay, I like this. This is cute. This is cute. Maybe we should do like a more casual chef outfit. Like something from the Home Chef Hustle kit. Because the current chef's outfit are really, uh... They're really formal, like with the, the white coat and the chef's hat and all that jazz. This is more of like a chill spot I'm not really viewing this as a as a restaurant i'm viewing it as like a a bar should we open should we do a trial run it's friday at 9 p.m i think this is actually a good time what why are you here go home girl what the hell oh go home Gosh. all right this is our waitress she looks cool to be honest Miwa Langford. Pay for training? Brief training? That's cool. Is she gonna leave though? All right, it looks like we got a lot of customers. What do, why do we have to like, oh shoot, Evangeline got promoted. Nice, so yeah, we're doing comedian for Good job, Miss, Miss Evangeline. All right, what do we need to do? Welcome. I don't know. Guys, go see the host. I don't really know what Surfie. you want me to do. Hiya, Pardu. Dorna Wexel. Oh, <laughs> All right, he's just going around greeting customers right now. Hold on, what was that? All the attention from the owners make me feel really special. Ah, well, isn't that sweet? Oh my god, he's dazed, guys. He is dazed. I think we need to quit our job. Yeah, this job sucks. It really does suck. Let's just quit it really quick. Hopefully it'll make him feel less dazed. Yes, quit. He's so over it. Looks like everyone's kind of just chilling, which is fine. Are we gonna make any money though? This would be an interesting way to, for him to meet people too. Man, I wish you could just own a bar. Just a bar, a straight up bar. You know what I mean? Oh, it's not dip. What is this? Wow, this place has some oh. nice decor. Ooh, check on table. Oh. Freddie Lundy has started a job as a head dishwasher. Wow, he really needed a job. Oh. Oh. I think that the outfit I gave our waitress is making the Sims think she's just naked. Ah, Why are you on your knees, my guy? Oh. Not necessary. I wish this place had more friendly service. Oh. No. Uh, uh, Meanwhile, you need to be nicer. Oh, no. Ooh. <laughs> okay, okay, we're making money now. We made 54 bucks. Oh. What do the numbers mean in the stars above their heads? 
Right okay, now. when it gets too poppin', everyone gets pissed about the wait times. So you gotta disallow new customers, I guess? Girl, why aren't you... I wish we could tell uh, our employees what to do. Don't tell me you're leaving, are you? No, you're fine. My guy, why are you making ice cream? You need to check on your customers. Bar, clunking. Wait, what? Miwa is starting to get tired from working so long. Her performance and job satisfaction will certainly suffer without a break. How do I give them breaks? Maybe we should close for now. Okay, so... I wish we could read the reviews. <laughs> Did we even make any money? We didn't. We made no money. Okay, try training your hosts and waiters to level up their skills. Wait time. The ambiance is excellent. Okay. Well, that was pretty horrible. We really need more. We need more employees. We need an additional waiter. Oh my god, we only need 25 more. 25 more club points for an additional waiter gosh darn he's really happy though like a gig for me sitcom star oh my god no we've had so many actors in this family i can't i can't i just can't uh we're closed how are you though what's your name uh-huh mickey fleming why are you sticking around, Mickey? What do you think oh. about Mickey? You don't think she's cute? Dow That's fine. Oh my god, he's starving. Alright, well, uh, why don't you just grab some of these popcorn? Okay, looks like Tony had our baby. It's amazing. We should probably go meet him. I was gonna say it, but no, don't eat that! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. The popcorn. It's foul, don't eat it. <laughs> Don't eat it! That's hard. That is hard. I want it to be more of a poppin' bar, though. I think that Sims should be able to own any type of business that they want. Rocky was returned! Yay! Uh, love that. Where is he? Alright, let's call him over. Oh my god, look at him. He brought us a, a present! Oh. Oh my god. Holy distressing concoctions. That is wild. Oh my god, Teddy got promoted. Dang, she is killing it, to be honest, but she's starting to feel burnt out. God, I really want to, like, disable burnout. I don't know how to do it, but I freaking hate that. I'm going to get Edison to share his ideas with Teddy about the new the new bar. See how she Oh, nice, a little kiss. That's interesting. I didn't tell them to do that, but... Pipitino. Uh-huh. She's like, your ideas are trash, to be honest. I think uh -huh. you opening a restaurant was a terrible idea. She's like, you should sell cupcakes instead. Cupcakes? Uh-huh. I'm not into cupcakes. Alright, guys. So, tomorrow is Sarah's birthday. I think we're gonna age her up a little bit early because my patience is very thin right now. Uh, <laughs> um, so when she wakes up, we'll age her up. I think there's a, I think there's already a cake in the fridge to TBH, but let me check. Mm, there is, there is a fantastic. Okay, here we go. Oh goodness, happy birthday, darling. <laughs> I'm so excited right now. We're gonna learn her first trait. Ah, bimba! <laughs> okay, so I have to do this with the special legacy trait thing. Uh, so first parent, he is a geek, he is creative, and he is genius. And then Teddy is... Let's see. Proper. Gosh, I hope Sarah doesn't get proper. I don't really like that trait. Dance machine and music lover. Yes, yes, music lover. Okay. Okay, okay. All right. Are we ready? We're going to learn her child aspiration and her first trait. Let's do this thing. 
creative and social butterfly. Okay, I love the creative trait, so I'm so okay with that. Uh, hello? There it is. Okay, and social butterfly. He oh my god, she ends up with brown Joe hair. Luffa. How perfect! <laughs> I didn't even have to darken it. My cast has been really glitchy lately, so uh, hoping it cooperates with me right now. I love this hair with the clips. She's so pretty, guys. She's so, so beautiful. Man, we've had so many brown hair, brown eyed kids in this Let's Play. Lots of brown eyed kids. No blue eyes, barely any black hair. Is it just me or do these boots look super freaking cute with this outfit? <laughs> I know this is kind of an off the wall fit, but I don't know. I kind of feel like kids dress Kids dress a little weird, like nothing really matches, but I feel like this outfit works. Um, I think I want to go really silly with her, with her outfits, because she is creative. So I want to like reflect that through her outfits as well. Formal wear, gosh, we're probably never even going to see it, to be honest, but yeah, that works. That's fine for me. Active wear, mm, active for kids. I really like this little like dress thing. I also really love overalls for active wear. I think it's really cute. And Dan, sleepwear. Don't really care. Sleepwear, don't really care. We could do this little set. Party wear. Aww. This one from For Rent is adorable. Look at it. Oh, that looks so good on her. Should we put the cowboy boots on again? <laughs> I don't know, guys. I think they're kind of a vibe. I might be crazy. The pink ones? Stop. Maybe she's just like obsessed with her boots. And. There ain't nothing that we can do about it. Nothing we can do or say. She just wants to wear them. Oh my god, this fit, this this little dress from Strangerville. I don't really have that much CC for kids, so. Oh, I love this. I love the overalls. This is really cute though. Oh my god, she's so darling, you guys. I love her. Okay, I'm going for that. For shoes, shark slides? <laughs> Crocs? Hmm. hmm. I think she's down for that. All right, cold weather. What do we got? Ooh, the moon boots. I mean, I love the moon boots. Oh my god, wait. This colorway. So cute. Should we change the color of the boots, though? What do we got? We got pink? Hmm. Brown? Oh, it's kind of clipping with this outfit. Oh well, I don't mind. It's not that big of a deal. All right, let's give her one more everyday fit. This dress from, I think, Dream Home Decorator. It holds such a special place in my heart, guys. It is so unbelievably cute. The strobs. I mean, how could you not love it? This is a good one. These are all outfits by Madeline. It got like cute little logos on the back. Mood. Huge freaking mood. Okay, let's go for the first swatch. All right. Well, uh, me thinks you're done. Maybe, just maybe the blush will work on her skin tone. I have this favorite blush, this one right here. It's the UBP Freckled Blush number two. But a lot of the times my, my Sims skin tones are too dark for it. Oh, wait. Oh, it actually does work. Yeah, just give him a little flush. Ah, she's so cute. I'm so excited, guys. I'm so stoked. Next order of business is to just update her room a little. I want to add a bunch of creative stuff in there for her to express herself. Update her bed. Give her a desk to do her homework and stuff. And we need to start meeting kids at school as well. <sighs> What's the holiday? New skill day. I love new skill day. So my build mode, I just remembered, is super glitched right now. So I think the only thing I'm going to be able to do is replace her bed. 
I really don't know what's going on, but I can't like delete or place more than one thing. It's really strange. One of my mods might be outdated. You know what would be really funny? If you didn't potty train your child, there should be consequences for it. Like they should like pee their pants more often or even like have to wear a diaper for a little while. Okay, now that, that would be interesting. Okay, I was able to place a desk. I was able to place a bed. The only thing left that I want to get her is a, a creative table thingy. All right. It looks okay right now. I'll have to update it more in depth when my build mode is uh, more, is cooperating better. All right. Well, let's go ahead and have a piece of cake. She's kind of hungry. Sir Isaac is in that cube again. I swear, I think you're stuck in there. Look at how cute she is. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love her. Joke about fashion. Joke about chicken butt. Shimray, gorge for a I'm not really sure what they're- oh, they're singing about a new skill day. Alright. Alrighty, well. Meet five new sims. So the child aspirations count for uh, the total number of aspirations that you need to complete. And honestly, the child aspirations, way easier. Way, way easier. Oh, you guys are just chilling in the hot tub? Very nice. Uh, yeah, it's quite a nice day outside, isn't it? <laughs> Holy crap. I just looked at Ren's compatibility with Teddy and it's bad. Oh no. So Ren and Teddy do not get along. Bobanef? Oh, Dolphus Ravuda. Ooh, keep Depta. Watani, Kofa, Wixona. I am so in love with Teddy. Wow. I just. I don't believe it. I really don't believe it. Faru! They do not seem like they're in love, but all signs point to that she is the one. We can open the restaurant and not even be there. Huh. So we can earn points while we're at home. I'm gonna go to the restaurant because we're not earning any points or money having it open and not being there. Hmm. I do want to get those last 20 uh, points though so we can hire another waitress. I think that should help a lot with like the wait times. And how come we can't hire a bartender? You're in a Varu. Oh yeah. my gosh, Uncle look, yeah. Melissa. She's having a baby. Melissa is one of Felix's kids. Wow, we gave her, we paid for her to go to training and she said, great, just what I wanted, a chance to go to class in my off time. Excuse? Let's praise her. I want yep. her in a better mood. <laughs> Listen, I really appreciate what you're doing. I really appreciate. Thank you, Mr. Compost. I think I'm pretty awesome as well. Okay, sure. Yibsy. Work is what work is. It's just a means to an end for me. Hmm. I don't know if I vibe with that. I want you to want to be here. Oh my god, you guys, we went up half a star. I love that for us. All right, let's pause really quick. We have 570 perk points. So we can get an additional waiter, which is what I wanted. Um, and then hire one. How do we do it? Manage employees. Select a sim to hire. Okay. Um, why does everyone suck? Well, her skills are going up by working here. So, Freddy, I really don't want to hire Freddy. Um, we got her. Okay. Sweet. Yeah, all their skills are going up by working here, which is great. I can't wait for all their skills to be super high. Oh my god, so many babies. Ophelia had a female, uh, Bailey had a female, and Melissa had 
two male babies and one female baby. Oh my god, Melissa had triplets. Why are you double fisting your popcorn, my guy? I'm off with a... Yibsy. Oh my god, it's a critic. It's a critic. It's a critic. It's a critic. I need to... I need to... <gasps> Skadorsh! I need to Ooh. prioritize their food. Yes. Wanush, Harse, Kush. Okay, okay, he ordered, he ordered, he ordered. Prioritize food. Oh. Check on table. Come on, Edison. Bro, no gaming mat. Oh my god, you're pissing me off. So if they're a critic, they have a white ribbon around their little star. Uh Durishi. Did he get his food? He did. I'm not happy about this wait time. I'm sorry. Free dessert? How's that? Oh my god, we can already hire another waitress. Wait, what? You've already purchased this perk? Oh, another waitress is 900. Oh, yeah. Two out of five stars! Oh. Let's <laughs> go, guys! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It's hard to say if this restaurant is glass half full or half empty. I guess it quenched my thirst. Dine here if your favorite color is beige. There's no beige in here! Whatever. All right, I think that's pretty good for today. I'm gonna close her down. It's 2 a.m. Oh my god, what kind of restaurant do you open that long? Okay. Net profit, negative 723. Oof. But we are two and a half stars. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, this is so not gonna be easy. <laughs> It's really not. I don't know what I expected. It definitely feels more like we're running a restaurant, which is really unfortunate. No one really uses the bar upstairs. No one... Is hiring a mixologer? A, a bartender, I mean? Is that like... It's not a perk that you can buy. Ugh. Oh well. I think this is a good spot to leave it though, guys. Let me know what you think about Sarah's makeover. Let me know what you think about Edison owning the arcade bar slash restaurant. I'm still so at a loss with him and Teddy's relationship. Like, they seem like the perfect fit. However, they don't act like it. It shouldn't say stay at home dad, it should say business owner at this point. <laughs> yeah, Evangeline doesn't seem very happy either. She's got the people person lifestyle and she always is sad because she's all alone in this house full of people. It's probably just because everyone's got their own thing going on and she is just there. So next episode, I always say this, but next episode we will get her into her own place. We will uh, mm, get her to meet the Sim that won the Bachelorette challenge for her and all that jazz. As always, guys, leave me your comments. Let me know what you think. I love you so, so much. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.